Hi, my name is Susanna Roos, and I live in Chandler, Arizona with my family. I have my undergrad degree from Arizona State University in Family Studies and Child Development, and I decided to go back to school to help young learners with learning disabilities. As I was thinking about this week's discussion prompt, I had some memories from my preschool and kindergarten years, which I spent in a Montessori environment, uh, tracing sandpaper numbers with my fingertips. And so what they model and teach you to do is to trace the um, shape of the number and then orally say the name of the number, um, activating the part of your brain to help with retention and recognition in the future. Um, I also remember baking with my mom a lot who taught me how to measure cups and uh, fractions and read um, ingredients and I think that that exposure really helped set the foundation for my math uh, work in fractions when I was older. I also recall at an early age um, sorting and classifying uh, small pieces of candy into colors and um, shapes and so my mom would buy like little bags of that mini chiclet gum or jelly beans and she would kind of challenge me to organize them by a given attribute so can you can you put all the speckled jelly beans in one pile and maybe the red and the pink ones in a different one and then like the greens in another pile and so we did activities like that a lot and little did I know that that was really kind of setting the foundation for some you know, basic uh, pre-math uh, work. So um, I enjoy doing those things. I think that when I was younger, I didn't really perceive myself as any kind of mathematician, although I did enjoy um, math activities. But um, one thing that really stood out to me uh, preparing for this discussion is, as I read the article um, for this week, it was super interesting for me to learn and read that everyone is um, born with the capability and uh, brain structure and power to learn and absorb math and really what matters is you know developing that growth mindset and also the way the material is presented and uh, delivered to the you know learners and so what I really hope to um, learn and um, practice moving forward is you know those strategies and tips to kind of engage those young learners and capture their interest and make math, you know, fun and somewhat exciting because, you know, it is such an important part of the, you know, student's academic uh, roadmap. And so um, that's what I'm looking forward to. And thank you for watching. Best of luck.